I've arrived in the cold camp of Billy. My heart skipped a bit because I seen the ruins of a building over there, over that way, a couple hundred feet, with a tree falling across it and thought it's the company store. The company store is still standing, but the wood, the little wood door framing has fallen apart. I think my first visit here, like five years ago, that was still standing. And I remember the pictures of the Coal Camps USA. The building's a little bit better safe than those pictures that's posted on Coal Camps USA. I think the pictures. I think he took them in 2007 is when he took the photos. My first trip here is probably 2015 or 2016, I think. It's October of 2021, by the way, when I'm filming this. I think it's October 10th is the day I'm filming this. Don't know what day I'll upload it. Yeah. But there's a sign the Park, National Park Service put up telling you not to mess with everything. They even give you a number to call. But I love coming here. It's a lot more fun in the fall winter months when the trees are deleafed. Okay, so that assembly over there. Yeah, it's still there. I think my backpack will be okay over there, hopefully. But there is a piece of a claw foot tub. I guess they were tearing down the company store and taking stuff down. Somebody cut this up and removed a lot of it. I don't know when they've done that, it's been there like that for years, it's stayed the same. But somebody tried hauling that out of here, I guess. But here's a deep hole, i got to be careful, I don't want to fall in it. I guess that's the coal cellar back in the day, probably where the furnace was to heat the, cup, <gasps> heat the company store. And got the assembly here, it looks like a giant bread oven. A giant bread loaf, I mean, not bread oven. And wondering where the train is the signal like a couple miles back over a mile back there's the signal that that came on for the train coming train the train ain't got here yet but i know they're coming at this side of the river you got the active rail line the other side of the river you have the bennett rail line but there's the assembly and there's the one it looks like that makes me think of a giant loaf of bread that little one there because of the shape of it. Man, that one or two far this trip. Even out here by myself, and as far as I know, nobody's around. I still gotta be cautious because you never know. But it's so beautiful through here. Whilst I get up here a little ways from the railroad tracks and the train I'm wanting to film will go by because I'm not next to the railroad tracks anymore. I don't know why I wore my big, my, my blue, blue jean jacket. It's a little too warm for a coat. Oh well. <laughs> I left that in my backpack temporarily because I was feeling once the sun goes down a little more, chances are going to start dropping after all this mid October. Well, to, yeah, I know the temp could be considered early or mid-October. I'm not sure to name this creek up here, because Fire Creek is a little bit farther up. It goes to the town named Fire Creek. But here's the original alignment of the creek. Well, I'm standing on here is the original alignment of the creek. But the 2001 flood re rains that talks to people at the Park Service. They're telling me how the flood in 2001 rearranged the creek because of a erosion. So when the creek is high, it still flows this original alignment. But when it's low, or running normal, it flows over here. It's actually rerouted through the, the water got rerouted through the mine superintendent's home. There's actually a mine superintendent's house for the town of Berry. I love this beautiful old tile floor though. I will plan trips back here in the future when the trees get deleafed. But check this out. Beautiful towel flowing. And the creek. You can see where the creek flows through here in the rocks, all the rosin over the years. You can see where the outside wall and the back 
which was the back wall of the house, is gone now. And there's the assembly. I think more bricks has fallen off of it since the last time I was here. But it's amazing all this is still here. There's some more foundations up that way, but I'm probably not going to want it very far this trip. I better be careful while I step. The floors have rutted under here. I wonder how far this went. Yeah, it looks to me like, wow, the, the floods over the years, from the rain, the floods over the years has done some damage because down there would be together in the house, which means this top, this flooring probably originally. I may be wrong, but I'm guessing that this flooring originally went all the way past that assembly down there to where the other wall is, the other outside wall. It's amazing to see. And there's the high wall. I'm be careful because that may not be safe to step on. I don't want to fall in the hole. It's amazing what flood, what nature could do, what flooding could do. It's a scary sight. But yet, while I live in Mount Hope, people still live along the creek and will not sell no matter how much money offered. And there are some people who want to sell but haven't got the money, haven't been bought out. Then some people, no matter how many times they get flooded, they won't sell. But I think this trip just to be as far as I go. And future trips when the trees are de-leafed and I can actually get up a little bit farther and it's easier to spot stuff, I'll go farther up. Yeah, see if I could actually zoom the camera in on those rocks before I end the video. Hmm. Ah, my battery's almost completely dead. Glad I bought that portable saucer. I might have enough, enough juice left to do one more video and take a few photos. But at least I got the portable saucer with me so I can source my camera. I'm glad I bought that thing because it comes in handy for trips like this. I forgot to source my camera before I left. When I went to those yards this morning, morning, I meant to pull my camera up and I forgot to. Oh well. I'll end the video and I hope I get lucky enough to catch the train.